A red light shone in the darkness, followed immediately by a plume of smoke. I saw a silhouette emerge from the sunset and sat up. I'm sorry. Did I wake you up? Don't worry. It's time to go back. The plan was to leave at 11 p.m., but the date had changed. Busy day for a politician, isn't it? I can't believe they're working you this late. It's easier to move around at night than in the daytime. Mika's brand of cigarettes changes every time I see her. This was Mika's usual way to show that she was in love with each new man she slept with. How long are you planning on doing this job? Well, it can't go on forever. I've aged a lot since I met you, Atsuomi. Women are all about freshness. As time goes by, year by year, they lose their freshness and become rotten. The world tends not to recognize this and, in fact, hates to acknowledge it. But only those who understand this will succeed. They not only use their youth as a weapon, but they also have another weapon at hand. My advice to you, it's time to get out of the game. I'm a little surprised to hear that from you, Atsuomi. Well, I thought it was time for me to move on, too. But I don't have a vision for the future. I don't envision myself marrying someone and having a happy family. I don't see myself having kids, making mom friends, or sending my children to elementary school. I can't help but laugh at myself. Don't worry. You'll be fine. I don't know. I'm rarely liked by people of my own gender. I might have a harder time than you think. But I think I'll take the plunge. You've made me a lot of money and you allowed me to dream. Lastly, I want to entrust you with a big job. What is it? I took out a marriage certificate and put it on the table. Huh? What's this? I want you to marry me. Are you joking? Of course not. Atsuomi. Mika approached, with her eyes slightly teary. She gave a small laugh. What do you want? You're not the kind of guy who would choose me, are you? You don't see me as a man who wants a pure marriage with the woman he loves? No, not at all. Then you're correct. It's a very different kind of marriage than the one you want, a one-size-fits-all kind of marriage. I have a future to achieve, and I need someone like her to make it happen. What do you mean? I have a new puzzle, and I'm going to need your help to solve it. Explain it to me in a way I can understand. A child. A child of my own flesh and blood. It will be an important move in my rise to power. Mika was taken aback, but soon realized what I meant. You mean, you want me to have a baby? Of course, I'll pay you enough money to make it worth your while. Wait a minute. Why me? There are plenty of women willing to have a baby if you're willing to pay for it. That's true if it's just about the money, but you're convenient in many other ways. You have some contacts in the business world and you're a good liar. The important aspect is the ability to fool people. If people find out that an unknown woman gave birth to my child, it won't matter. You also need to be able to play the good wife. I get it. But for how long? How long are you going to make me play the role of a good wife for? Don't worry. I'll announce the pregnancy and hold the ceremony when the time is right. I'll let you go as soon as we have the baby. She understood, but she still couldn't quite wrap her head around the situation. There's one more reason why I chose you. Your origins are clearly inferior to society's values in general. Your mother's an uneducated woman in the nightlife industry. So is your sister. It's a family that's been repeatedly married and divorced and lives a life of no value. Wow, isn't that a little rude? It's true, though. A superior child from a superior mother is just a diamond in the rough. It's my job to polish a plain stone on the side of the road so that it shines like a gemstone. I'll refine it so that a mere stone will be valued more than a diamond. As I said before, it's never a good idea to fool everyone around you. It's easy to get an incompetent woman to be a surrogate, but it's hard to hide the whiff of artifice. You can't fool the business people, those who have a keen sense of smell. You have to go through the proper channels to get your precious child on the show. In this respect, Mika would be a natural choice for many people who are aware of my connection with the project. You can choose any method you want. Ideally, you should be able to have a baby within a year to a year and a half. By placing my child in the white room, I'm further showcasing its existence. This is truly a revolutionary plan. <sighs> Mika let out a sigh of admiration as she looked at the wads of cash laid out on the white table. Fifty million. All of it was delivered in cash as you requested. It won't be traced back to you, I told Mika without making eye contact. The amount excludes all expenses incurred during the pregnancy, such as delivery and hospitalization. 
Politicians really have an abundance of money and everything at their disposal, huh? Was it easy for you to get 50 million? Mika said sarcastically, dressed in a suit she was probably not used to wearing. Money is important, but I have plenty of it to live on. That's what the world is like on our side. Mika laughed at me as I spoke in a matter-of-fact manner. The fact your child is born doesn't affect your heart in the slightest, does it? Are you going to tell me that you've awakened to motherhood now? No way. If I had, I wouldn't have given the child away. To me, the whole process of conceiving and giving birth to that child is work. Nothing more, nothing less. It seems I was right in choosing you after all. Well, I don't know if the job's worth it. I almost regretted it when my belly started to grow and the morning sickness got worse. I came here to complain or something, but when I saw all this money in front of me, I didn't care anymore. Even for Mika, who'd been receiving a monthly salary of well over a million yen, a lump sum of 50 million is a different story. I don't want to hear her complaints. When it comes to surrogacy, I paid more than twice the market rate, even if it's estimated at a high level. Normally, we'd have to pay almost half of this to the government. That's right. You have to earn about 100 million to save 50 million, right? I can't help but think you're crazy if you have to pay almost half of it in taxes. Touching the surface of the wad of cash, Mika laughed a little. Have you ever paid taxes properly? Come to think of it, I can hardly remember. Well, maybe I'll pay them when I start a new job, who knows? Anyway, how are you these days, Atswomi? Any change? I'm sorry, but I'm busy and don't want to talk too long. Let's just get on with what we have to do. I took out the contract and held it out in front of Mika. If you're going to take the money, write it down. You have the rights to the child until you sign here. You fret too much. Don't worry, I only had a baby for the money. I have no regrets. Mika had no intention from the beginning to refuse the money offered to her and once again expressed her willingness to accept it. No matter what happens, you'll never be allowed to identify yourself as the mother in your life. This may have sounded insistent, but it was very important. If Mika, who is familiar with the underworld, tries to get the child back, the possibility that the White Room's existence will be exposed cannot be denied. I know. Don't talk about me to him either. I won't. I don't have to. Can you just tell me what's going to happen to him? I haven't told Mika anything about the White Room. It was understandable that she was concerned about what will happen to him. That's none of your business. Once the deal is completed, we're done. Fine, I understand. Mika signed the contract as if she understood that there was nothing more to be done. Is this okay? Judging by the handwriting's pressure, there was no hesitation at all. I guess she wasn't at all worried if she was so sure. Mika gave instructions to take the attached case containing the money into Mika's car trunk. It was a bit risky to carry such a large amount of money in cash, but Mika and I agreed to avoid transferring the money through a bank. Well, I'll be on my way. This was the last time I saw Mika, and the last time we spoke to each other. As I was about to leave without saying a word, Mika took a few steps before stopping. Don't you want to ask me what I'm going to do now? I couldn't read her expression. However, I could make out that there was a hint of emotion in her voice. I'm not interested. You're free to go to that host or fly abroad with the money. She was slightly surprised, but then smiled as if she understood. You knew? You knew about me and him? Even if I don't investigate, people around me will investigate on their own. How long have you known? Before I asked you to marry me and have a baby. Aren't you suspicious if he really is your child? Mika narrowed her eyes as if she was playing a trick. It's not even worth getting suspicious about. You could have predicted that I would do a postnatal exam, and if by any chance you were carrying someone else's child, you'd lose your reward. It's an impossible choice. But you did a good job of restraining yourself. I must commend you for keeping your secret meetings with him to a minimum during our married life, and for being so careful that the host would never find out. I don't know if the host really wants to make Mika happy, though. At the very least, Mika's fortune, including the 50 million, should be over 200 million. Five or ten years... Until the money runs out, she is guaranteed a happy life with her host. Atswomi, did you ever think you'd like me? You'll do anything for yourself and money. That's the biggest thing I appreciate about you. I think you're missing the point. No, never mind. I'm sure that's the whole answer. I've never had any special feelings for Mika. And at the same time, this woman has no feelings for me either. All these sympathetic words were an act to make herself look good. 
She likes young, good-looking, well-spoken men who value themselves and their money above all else. That is who Mika is. Goodbye, Atsuomi. Wait. This is my present to you. An additional three million on top of the fee I'd originally prepared. I gave the consolation money, a parting gift, over to Mika. You don't have to go that far. I'm not going to sell this to a weekly magazine. I've done a lot of black-hearted things with you, too. Mika has a lot of things that she doesn't want to be exposed. Of course, that's why this is a pure, open, and honest gift. You don't have to take it if you don't want it. I reached over and pulled the money back, but Mika stopped me with a laugh. Well, there's no reason not to have the money to build your own home. I heard that land is getting more and more expensive these days. You don't know the underlying reasons why land prices are going up, do you? I don't know and I don't care. All I'm interested in is the money. That's just like you. You know it's going to be a while before you can officially marry someone. That's because I'm supposed to be your wife back in this country, right? Until we've put the child in the white room for a while, it's necessary for us to be publicly established as husband and wife. Not for long. If you can wait two more years, then you can do whatever you want. For this purpose, I've already given her the divorce papers filled out, only excluding the dates for me and Mika, respectively. One last thing. If you have a name picked out, I'll file it under that name. Eleven days have already passed since the birth of the child, and unless additional steps are taken, there are only three days left. I don't even have rights to the child, but you're letting me decide? No matter who names the child, what's inside of a human being is the same. Then, Kiyotaka... A very good suggestion. That's just like you. I was a little surprised at this unexpected turn of events. I just thought that this would be the name you'd remember. That's fine. I'll accept it. You really are a very calm and level-headed person, aren't you? It'd be normal for people to lose their temper in this situation. Naming our baby after the host that I'm crazy about, that's insane. Mika started to walk away. This time she didn't stop. Goodbye, Atsuomi. My time with you has been a valuable experience for me, for better or worse. With that much money in her pocket, she shouldn't have a single complaint. And with that, I gave up my child as a representative of the White Room. If I can make a track record, I can say that the money was a small price to pay. As long as Kiyotaka is useful for at least five years, it doesn't matter if he breaks down after that.